Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Hart. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today we are going to be making these adorable purse cards with the Lichen Animal Specialty Designer Series Paper. This is a 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper Pack. Um, so many fun prints in this. It's definitely like a walk on the wild side with the um, Designer Series Papers, but it's so much fun. And if you have a fashionista in your life, um, somebody who is just always shopping always well dressed, you know, has fantastic designer handbags. You know, I have two aunts in particular who always, always are dressed to the nines. So well coordinated. They have a lot of animal print clothing. They love shine, shimmer and metallics and metals and all of that. So this is page 45 of our mini catalog, January to April, 2023. You can see the designer series papers on that page. Um, and then I am incorporating our, uh, it's called fine shimmer paper in gold for the one purse. And then um, I used my silver foil for the other um, because I had run out of the other specialty silver foil that they use, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Um, we're also going to be using the fine shimmer paper in fresh freesia as well. I did want to focus on the metallics. You can see the different prints here. One side of the paper is gold or silver. The other side is the, um, the regular color prints for the different animal textures. And we have leopard print and giraffe print and alligator print. And then there's like this scale looking print there. Um, <clears throat> So I, I have to admit, I did not, you know, recognize every single one of the prints. There's a zebra print you can see on that purse there. So um, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. So if you're looking for some like, you know, fun and fancy, you know, even, I don't know if I would call it elegant, but it's kind of a mix, right? So if um, you're looking for card ideas, birthday cards, you know, just a hello card, these are the two stamp sets we're using. I used Hello Beautiful for the one stamp, and then I actually used the Thanks a Bunch stamp uh, for the There's No One Like Quite Like You um, stamp that's on the gold purse card. I just thought that they were great sentiments to go with this theme. Um, and so we're going to recreate this card together today. Now, this is an edited replay. If you like to see the full length live, um, you know, presentations, I do keep the full length replays where we're having all the conversation and everything like that um, over on my Facebook page at Stamping with Heart. And I spell my last name H-A-R-T. So I know some people haven't been able to find me there. I wanted to mention that. So um, you can see here is the Fresh Freesia Fine Shimmer Paper. This is the Framed Florets Dies. I'm, I'm using the middle size um, oval die here. And this is a die that will actually cut two dies at one time. It cuts the outer frame and it cuts the inner um, oval. And for these cards, I am actually keeping both details. So I'm keeping the inside and the outside of the oval. We're just going to be cutting it in half. I'm using my full size stamp and cut and emboss machine for this. Um, because of the size of this die, I would recommend the full size machine for this size die. And then we're just trimming down this paper. So you can use whatever, um, you know, specialty papers or fancy papers that you have. Or if you want to use the other side of the paper and go with, I think it's, um, I think some of the coordinating colors were like soft suede and basic gray, you know, black, white. I think that all of that would be good um, if you're creating these purse cards. And then you can have some fun um, whether or not you want to turn it into a clutch or if you want to um, do like a, a strap for the purse with maybe with a ribbon or twine or something like that. Um, I would love to see what you come up with. So I'm just taking my paper trimmer here. I'm just lining this up tip to tip and we are going to cut this in half. I'm going to put pressure on the die when I cut it and I'm going to take my time when I cut it so that I'm not yanking it through or that I'm not tearing it. We're just going to 
take our time because the fine shimmer paper is a little bit on the thicker side. Um, and that's why those two pieces are holding together so well. And then I have a free project sheet. So if you are interested in all of the measurements for this card, it's a pretty simple card. Um, but I'm going to include the measurements in a free project sheet. If you're interested in that, I will have the link below, um, where you can go and get the free project sheet. If you're on my email list, you will have already received it when I send you the replay. Um, I always email the video replays um, to the people who are on my email list as just sort of a thank you and a convenience thing so that they don't have to go and find it. It just goes right to their inbox. So um, the idea for these purses were, I mean, I just had this vision in my mind when I saw this paper that I really wanted to do this. And so I'm trimming down all of these measurements now. Um, <clears throat> I believe the purse is, well, you know what? Let me just leave it with the project sheet. Um, so if you want to download the project sheet, you can get all of the measurements there. And of course, you can see what I'm doing with the ruler here. So while we are talking, um, some of the accent colors that I used were polished pink and fresh freesia, um, black and then base, basic black and basic white on each of the cards. So you can swap out your sort of pop of color, but I knew I wanted that metallic, you know, on every single card. So I did use the metallic side because I just thought it was fancier. Um, so like I said, with this, the layering is simple. Now, one thing that I did want to shout out um, in this video <clears throat> is that celebration is still happening, which means when you shop with Stampin' Up and you spend 50 or 100 before tax, you can actually earn free rewards in the month of February. And in the month of February, Stampin' Up added new celebration items that you can choose from. So there's even a wider variety now of the rewards that you can get when you spend and shop um, with Stampin' Up during the month of February. So I have my host code shop link in the description box below. And I always include the host code whenever you go to my blog. If you go to the um, shopping list, you know, if you're interested in getting what we're using on the cards today, um, you can shop with the host code as well. So if you spend the qualifying amount for Stampin' Up, you'll earn celebration rewards. And if you spend 50 or more in the online store with me in the month of February, you will also get a free embellishment from me as a thank you for shopping with me in the online store in my host code. So such a great time to save. Now I am taking my take your pick tool. I'm using that little sharp tip and I am just uh, popping these out. Now the take your pick tool does have a die brush that you can attach to the end of it and you can just scrub these little pieces out, which is probably the quicker way. But for me, um, this was what I had on my my desk or my table. And I tend to do this a lot. Um, I tend to gravitate towards and do the same things with my sentiment. I did use heat embossing because I wanted, um, a bold white, uh, sentiment for my purses. And then my friend Roberta had suggested, um, making a purse card in gold, which you'll see coming up here in a minute with the draft paper. And so I heat embossed the sentiment in gold on that card. And I loved the way that that turned out too. So, these cards are a lot of fun to make. They don't take too long. Um, I wanted to add some dimension with the foam adhesive strips. The foam adhesive strips are a little bit wider than our Stampin' Dimensionals. If you want to use dimensionals, you can do that. But just at the top of the purse, I wanted it to look like it was coming off of the card. Now, I do do a version where the purse is flat. So for those of you who don't like the bulk, um, maybe you don't want all that extra, right? I do have a version where the, the purse is flat and there's no, um, there's no strap for the purse. On this version, I went all out. So on this version, I did add the foam adhesive strip to give it some good dimension at the top of the purse. I just did one small mini dimensional at the midpoint um, for the top of the handbag so that it had just a little bit of a difference in its dimension. And then um, I did use the tear and tape to adhere my uh, ribbon. So here I am just doing some heat embossing. I'm still getting used to using my embossing additions toolkit, but it is awesome, you guys. So if you do like to heat emboss or if you're getting started with heat embossing, 
I do recommend getting this now um, because there are certain things that I've been doing a certain way for a long time and I can't get used to using the tweezers, but I can tell you it does save your hand from getting hot and you won't burn your hand. So the tweezers are absolutely worth it. The brush is so handy. I love that I can just set the tray off to the side and clean it up after my live. So I am really loving the embossing um, additions toolkit. And if you have any questions about that, you can let me know. But I will have it on the product list on my blog. Um, and I do have a link in the description box below if you are interested in shopping um, this, this particular tutorial. So all of these products were a lot of fun to use. Now here you can see that foam adhesive strip um, at the top. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the tear and tape at the bottom and you can do whatever works best for you. Now, when you use that embossing buddy, which is that anti-static powder on something like the basic black cardstock, be sure that once your, um, your heat embossing is done and it has cooled and it is set that you wipe away the residue so that you get that powder off of that basic black and it looks nice and crisp and clean black. It's easy to forget, um, but you can even take your brush and just brush it away however you want to do that just so that um, you don't forget about that powder residue there. Now, I'm just adhering this to that Fresh Freesia layer. I like using a stronger adhesive like Seal Plus or Tear and Tape whenever I'm dealing with specialty paper. And the Fine Shimmer specialty paper is one-sided. Like I said, it is thicker. Um, and then we're going to adhere that to another specialty piece, which is a metallic sheet. So I just like stronger adhesive in that case. And I used an iridescent pastel gem um, for my little um, fastener, you know, on my, on the, on the little handbag purse card here. So I loved the way the Fresh Freesia card looked, but you can see with Polish Pink, it was a little bit more of a bold choice. And then I used an Opal Round in Polish Pink for that clutch. And then I also used the Iridescent Pastel Gem here. And then this piece actually is from the Scallop Contour Dyes. But the one thing about that rectangle was that I felt like I couldn't really see the pattern as well as I wanted to um, in the background of the card. So I just changed it to a simpler rectangle, but you can see both versions just depending on how you want to do that. So as we get into this next card here, this is the version of the purse that we are going to make completely flat to the card. Um, I have a tendency to do this when I'm making cards where you know, you can see it whether you want all the dimension and you want that ribbon and you want to add the strap and you want to give it a lot of detail or if you really want to keep it clean, simple and flat for mailing so that you have the options there. And then, like I said, that was the fine shimmer paper. So when you purchase the fine shimmer paper, which is actually part of the Fancy Flora Suite, I've been working with that. I'm also offering a class on that. Registration is open right now through February 11th. I'll have information in the link um, in the description box below for that as well. Um, and I went and grabbed a few more stamp sets just to see what the different options were because with... Uh, when you're working with designer series paper without a particular bundle attached to it, like sometimes we're working with a set. Sometimes we're working with a suite of product that was all coordinated. Sometimes we're grabbing like random things. And that is what is happening with this card. With this card, I really wanted the character of the lichen animal patterns to stand out. I wanted these to be bold, fun, fashion you know, fancy wild cards. I, I, I wanted them to be bold. I wanted the sentiments to be bold, right? I wanted the colors to be bold. I wanted all of that shine and that shimmer with these cards, like where it's like unapologetic, right? But this happy birthday, which is from Happiness Abounds, also looks fantastic. So that's three different stamp sets, three different sentiments, Feel free to grab what you have. You know, you might have the perfect um, sentiment for this. There was a, a stamp set that's now retired. It was called Well Dressed. And I loved that set. I, I think it was called Well Dressed, um, if I'm thinking of the, of the right one. And I think that the sentiments on that would have been perfect for this. So if you happen to have that in your collection, you might really like that with this paper. And you can let me know um, in the comments, what do you think of the like an animal paper? Or would you use something like this? Or is this just not something that you would put in your uh, designer series paper collection? 
this went out with um, my paper share. Everybody got, you know, different sampler packs of the um, all the designer series papers in the catalog. And I, I want people to have ideas, even, you know, using what I would call unconventional paper, right? Like we have our fun florals that we pretty much do every season. We have our holiday colors. We have our gingham. Those are the things that we use all the time. Um, but sometimes when something like this comes along, we have to play with it and we have to do something cute. Now, as we're coming up on the end of the video, I want to tell you about the join offer that Stampin' Up! has during celebration. So celebration ends February 28th, 2023. I have a video talking all about the different options when you join um, Stampin' Up! in February. So you can take a look at that, see if that is something that would be a fit for you. But the savings are absolutely incredible on the join offer. I mean, it's one of the best offers that I have ever seen Stampin' Up! do. So I really, I just want you to be informed about it. And then you can decide if it's for you or not. But basically, you choose... Um, $175 worth of products. So whatever might be on your wish list that you are wanting out of that new catalog or even the annual catalog, you can choose $175 worth of product. And you have three options when you join where you can either choose between the white or boho blue mini stamp and cotton emboss machine. And you only pay $129 between the $175 in product and the machine which is a $63 value for the mini machine. That is only $129. That's $109 product savings and free shipping on the starter kit. And you also have an option where you can do the starter kit where you're just choosing your products and you don't have to do the machine. And that is only $99 before tax, free shipping, $175 worth of product. So it's an absolutely incredible time to get stocked up or to get those items that you want on your wish list. You save 20% as a demonstrator with Stampin' Up!, you do not have to sell. You can do this as a hobby. But if you are interested in starting a Stampin' Up! business, they have resources and supplies for that as well. So there are so many great benefits to joining, but particularly during celebration, the offer is just amazing. So that will end on February 28th. The Boho Blue Mini Machine is actually a color that's going to be an in color for us this year, which I don't remember them sneak previewing an in color before it released before. So it's limited edition and it's, it's exclusive, which is awesome. Now, this is the Fancy Flora class um, that I have registration open for if you guys are interested in that. Uh, so I did want to point that out as well. And like I said, I'll have that information in the description box below. But um, there's a crafting community of demonstrators. You would get access to, you know, demonstrator Facebook groups and you could share inspiration in there. You don't have to. It's totally optional. Um, but it's a great place to see lots of ideas with all of the product that Stampin' Up! has in the current catalogs. You would get first access to catalogs. You would get first opportunity to purchase. They call them pre-orders. So, so many different great reasons to join. All right. I want to thank you for spending time with me today and I will see you in the next video.